Hi, Erica. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah. And just chat about what you do right now. Right, absolutely. So for anybody who doesn't know me, my name is Matthew Flamelli. Um, I'm a teacher and a writer from Milton, Ontario. Um, I have been published in a couple literary journals across Toronto, a textbook from the University of Toronto, and a couple of literary journals, creative and research journals as well. And I published my first novel, Unhinged, in 2017, which Erica has there, perfect. <laughs> What was your uh, family's reaction when you published it? I got mixed feelings and mixed reviews from it. Um, I think that a lot of people, like I said, weren't aware that I was suffering with a mental disorder um, and one to the severity that it was. Um, so I think that that was very shocking for some people in my family. There are also some um, more candid stories within the book that some people uh, felt was a little too vulnerable, a little too open with certain things. But my family and my friends have been uh, completely supportive throughout the whole process of Unhinged. So I'm absolutely grateful for all of that. Um, obviously, maybe they, like my family would say, some of the, the, the language could have been toned down a little bit. But yeah, again, yeah. When you're writing, it's it's just as open and as vulnerable as you can be. Exactly. You're just trying to like be as raw as the story yeah. is in life, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And there is no filter in real life. And when we want art to mirror real life, then that's exactly what we have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I think that you find, especially artists, when you're getting paid or you're working for someone to deliver your art, that it, it kills that joy for you. So Jaya said here, that must have been scary, but amazing that you stayed true to yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. Whenever we are writing about ourselves, like we were talking about before, definitely something that is scary. But uh, once it's all said and done, it, it's definitely something that at the end of the day, you can be proud of for, for sharing, right? Especially when you have people who reach out after um, telling you how um, your stories have inspired them or your stories have helped them um, cope with something in their life or understand something in somebody that they know, uh, a family member, a friend that are going through a similar situation, help them understand that better as well. Yeah, yeah. I think um, with Sujaya was also in the writing a book course and so was I and I think we can all relate that like once you publish it it's a pretty awesome feeling for people yeah. to be able to relate to something that you were so anxious on like publishing, right? right. Yeah. Yeah, and of course you're also going to have uh, the people who use those stories against you too because oh, wow. there, there are definitely things that people can poke and, and, and pry at when you are so vulnerable, which is scary. But again, yeah. like uh, Sujaya said, the feeling of just being completely true and honest to yourself, there's nothing that can, no hater, nothing like that that can overcome that. Do you have any advice to aspiring writers? My number one thing, whatever, um, whether it's my students or whether it's people who ask for advice when it comes to writing, the number one thing that I say is you have to start writing. It sounds like the, the easiest <laughs> thing, but just putting pen to paper is sometimes the hardest thing that you can do. And I think that a lot of writers get stuck in their mind. They always get stuck in this idea that whatever I write, it has to be perfect and it has to be perfect as I write it. Um, number one tip I would say do not get invested or uh, distracted with things like worrying about spelling, worrying about grammar, worrying if this is perfect, right? It's mm. not set in stone. It's, it's pen, it's paper, you're going to probably erase, throw out, uh, delete documents several times, but the most important thing, first start writing. Second advice yeah. I would probably give is make sure that you have a really good uh, support group, support system of writers for you. Um, I know that in the PWC program, we are uh, encouraged, actually it's mandatory that we have a group of peer editors that work with us. 
So for anybody who is interested in, uh, in writing, definitely get that, whether it's people that you do know that you know are interested in writing or whether um, you're joining workshops, there are writing workshops, editing workshops, where the age of social media, Web 2.0, you go on the internet, you can find groups of people that share interest in pretty much about anything. Definitely you can find some writers that are interested in creating support groups. So having those support groups um, of people who have the same passion as you, definitely gonna help you out when it comes to editing, advice, feedback, and also some really great friendships. Um, when I tell people I've written a book, they say, oh, I've always wanted to write a book, but no one ever actually starts doing their first story or like baby steps, right? Which right. eventually will come to that. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think what you said there is very important too, the idea of baby steps. We all kind of want things like to just, to yeah. just happen, right? We want it now, we yes. want it to just happen. But with yeah. writing, I think with all art, it, it, it doesn't happen like that. Um, art is a process. There is a, a certain um, equation that works for certain people um, f throughout that process of creating. And I think for writing, the first thing is the idea of just put pen to paper. Uh, are you still writing right now, Matthew? I am still writing. Um, I definitely have taken a little bit of a break. As soon as Unhinged came out, I had like almost what I would describe as postpartum depression. Um, it was like this idea of, okay, but now what am I going to do? Like, I feel like I peaked. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not sure if you or any of the other writers had the same thing and yeah. can attest to that feeling. But it's like you go from this great achievement that for some of us takes years, right? I know I was writing Unhinged for at least two years. Um, so all that work goes into something and it's so great and, and you feel so proud of yourself for being able to complete that. But then afterwards it's like, all right, is it just downhill from now? Like, where do I go after this? Yeah. So I, I did take a break from writing for a while. Um, now I am starting to work on the uh, sequel for Unhinged. I don't know when that will be coming out, but it is definitely in the works. Nice. Yay. Yeah. That's exciting. Uh, it's funny when you said the postpartum depression, because I think when 2019 was about to start, I was like, oh my God, this is my best year so far. I graduated. I made it. I wrote a book. Like, this year's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, you can't go into thinking that and just thinking about you have so much more opportunities to like happen, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that for this, for me, for all other writers who are in PWC who are able to publish a book, um, use it as a stepping stone, right? Whether this is something that looks good on your resume for you to potentially get a job, or whether this was just something that was very cathartic and something of a therapy for you uh, to cope with whatever that you're going through. I think that whatever it was is not your peak. It's just the beginning. And exactly. the ability to open the door to so much other possibilities on our journeys. I guess we'll end our set then. Yeah. All right. Aww. Thank, thank you so much, Erica. Thank you for having me here and a part of the uh, Locals Festival and for a really great cause. Thank you so much, Matthew. I think that what you shared with us today, I hope it will help people who are trying to write right now. And if they do have like any other questions, that they, they can message you about it as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And great. Anytime, DM me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to get to those. Awesome. Yay. Right. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you so much. Everybody enjoy the rest of the festival. Great job, Matthew. You look great, <laughs> said Ciro Finale. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> awesome. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone.